Hello everybody, my name is Suyash. You are watching Mind, Body, Spirit. Welcome to another episode of the Law of Attraction Success Stories series. In this video, I will be sharing these stories with you. Very inspiring stories that you have shared with me in the first place. And all the stories that I'm taking up in this video have all been shared by you on Instagram as a direct message. Uh, in order to send your own stories to me, you can either comment your stories down below or send your stories to me as a direct message on either Instagram or Facebook. Both are fine. So let's start with the first story of the day. This has been sent by Abra Roy and I have named this story Dream Home at the Right Time. The apartment that I am staying in now, I have attracted through the law of attraction. That's a fabulous beginning of the story. The apartment that I am staying in now, I have attracted through the law of attraction. I have always had this dream that before I get married, I would like to have my own apartment. But my salary package was not that great. But I still kept dreaming on and used to wonder how great it would be to have my own apartment in Bangalore. And I would visualize myself doing Grih Pravesham at my new home with my mother besides me. So Griha Pravesham is an Indian tradition when you buy a new house, when you construct a new house. Uh, this is a ritual that you do. You, you know, express your gratitude towards God. And Griha means house, Pravesham means entry. So when you enter a new house for the first time, you do this ritual called Griha Pravesham. So he visualized that he was doing Griha Pravesham of his new house in Bangalore with his mother besides him. So he continues, Little did I know that the universe was already listening and was setting things in motion for me to achieve it. The first instance was that the company which I used to work for was not doing great for the last couple of years, but in 2014 October, they had achieved their highest profitable quarter in last several years and the result was they increased the salary of all their employees by almost 10 to 15 percent. Wow. Well, this was just the beginning. Since I work in IT, most IT companies have something called variable pay, which is part of your salary package, but hardly a few companies actually pay it to their employees. In July of 2015, the next big thing happened. Our company changed their policy and removed the variable pay structure. They included the entire variable pay component to our take home salary. So in just a matter of six months, my salary increased by about 20,000 rupees. I was really happy, but the thought of buying an apartment was almost forgotten as I thought I would never be able to afford a flat in Bangalore. But the universe was already working. That very week, I got a call from my elder sister who is also in Bangalore and she told me that she had booked an apartment because she found it at a very reasonable rate as the builder was new. I rushed to check up the property and ended up booking an apartment for myself as well. I got married in December 2015 and just as I used to dream, I had actually owned a flat before I got married. I can't tell you, Soyash, how excited I am sharing this story. Even now that I am typing, I am getting goosebumps. Now I know that it had all happened because of Law of Attraction and Soyash, it is just one of the stories. Even today, I have actually attracted something because of Law of Attraction. I will share it with your permission. Well, Abra, first of all, thank you for sharing this story. It is really inspiring. And yes, please do share it. You have my permission and I'm sure you have the permission of all my viewers. Please share more of your success stories. So let's come to the next story now. I have named it A Way Out of No Way. And this has been sent by Arnav. I know about law of attraction from many years, but never took it seriously. My cousin asked me to try it many times, but I never paid much attention to her. I had finished studies three years ago and I was struggling with finding a job. My unemployment was a source of lot of stress for my family. Every day I had arguments with my parents. Topic was always related to I not having a job. I thought I had had enough and decided to try the law of attraction which my cousin kept recommending to me. So you should really thank your cousin. I searched about it on YouTube and found your channel. The way you explain everything, Suyash, with so much simplicity really made me believe in it and I decided to use your advice about visualization, gratitude and writing. I used to watch your videos in the morning and at night. I would just go to your channel and open a random video and watch. Doing this really got me into a positive and hopeful state of mind. I could remain positive despite the atmosphere at home being negative only because I was watching your videos repeatedly. Then things started to shift. A friend told me about a vacancy in the company he was working in. He said it will be difficult for me to get a job because of such a long gap in which I had not been doing anything. So this gap, he means the three years gap between him finishing his studies and actually getting a job. 
So if you are not doing anything, the prospective employer would ask you that why has there been a gap. So a friend told me about a vacancy in his company. He said it will be difficult for me to get a job because of such a long gap. But he said I should try anyway. I visualized the interview going great and I visualized myself leaving the interview feeling satisfied about my performance. In the actual interview, I was grilled a little bit about the three year gap but I handled it properly and when I came out of the room, I was really feeling good about my chances. They took their time in declaring the results which was difficult, the waiting was really difficult but again by re-watching your videos, I kept myself positive. But finally, I got an email that I had been selected. The salary was in fact more than I was expecting. I truly believe that if we can keep our mental state positive and focus on our dreams, we can really manifest them. That's wonderful, you know, it, it can be difficult if you're surrounded by negativity, if, if the atmosphere at, at your home is slightly negative, it's difficult to remain positive. But you did the right thing, you know, exposing yourself to more and more positive influence like you did. You use my videos, you used to watch a video in the morning, in the evening and that kept you positive. That's wonderful. So anything that works for you to keep you positive, just do it, you know, keeping yourself positive irrespective of what is going around you is your responsibility. So really, I really, Arnav, I really have to congratulate you and thank you for sharing this wonderful story. Now, this next story has been sent by Vivek uh, and I've named it Stolen Phone Returned. On 2nd January, two guys on a bike snatched my father's mobile phone. I filed a police report but everyone said that getting the phone back is almost impossible. That's what everybody says, you know. Even my father bought a new phone after three days. But I wanted to try law of attraction. As till then, I was not sure what to manifest. So I used to visualize that my father has got his phone back and how everyone was so surprised that it happened. I saw everyone so happy in his vision. I saw everyone so happy and felt grateful about it. I did this for some days and then I forgot about it. But whenever I remembered about my intention, I used to tell myself, stay patient, I know it will happen. If others can manifest, I can also manifest. On 25th of April, I got a call from police station and they told me that they had found the phone. It was just unbelievable and at that time I didn't know how to react. I also searched later on the internet and found that it is very difficult to get back a stolen mobile in Delhi. But you got it because you use the power of your mind. That's wonderful. Excellent story. Love it. So now we come to the final success story of this video. This has been sent by Lizzie and I have named it same exact car. Hey Suyash, I just wanted to share with you my law of attraction success story. So I'm very new to this law of attraction and as you have advised to use it in small things first. So I did use it in a small thing first. My story is very silly, you can say but I just wanted to share. I meditated in theta state for about 15 minutes and I wished to see a Chevrolet beat car in green color, which is very rare where I live. I didn't remember the last time I saw it and thus I wished to see it. Hey, that's a wonderful idea. I imagined on a particular road, a Chevrolet beat going right in front of me when I'm riding my scooty. Two days passed and in these two days, I was looking for that car everywhere. Next day, I just forgot about it and guess what? I saw it on the exact road right in front of me, a green Chevrolet beat. This might be short and silly, but I learned that if you look for the result constantly, we might delay. But when we forget and let go, we get it. That's wonderful, Lizzie. This, this, this story is not at all silly. It's a wonderful story for a first law of attraction manifestation. And what you learned from it, I'm so happy that you learned this from this manifestation. And that is that if we are constantly obsessing over, you know, has it manifested yet? Is it here yet? You know, and when we start out with an intention that we are very attached to, this happens that we are constantly thinking about it. And when we are constantly thinking about it, that creates a sort of a resistance. And sometimes you are not able to really manifest that. So we have to let go. And for beginners, what helps in letting go is starting out with an intention which is easy to let go. So you started with a green Chevrolet beat. So for two days you were constantly searching for it, but then you forgot. And as soon as you forgot, you manifested it, right? And so this is a wonderful story because it teaches us about how important it is to let go. And I actually have a video dedicated to letting go. So go watch that if you haven't already, I'll leave a link in the I button. 
so go ahead and watch that so that's all for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the like button any comments or feedback please use the comment section down below make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified about my future videos also do follow me on instagram and facebook because it's just wonderful to be in touch with you on a regular basis see you in the next video guys bye bye